Based on the evidence we just gathered, I want you to think about this claim that you'll see on your screen in just a second. And I want you to think about if that claim is supported or refuted. And how do you know that that claim is supported or refuted? So let's take a look at this claim right here. Australopes with adaptive traits are more likely to reproduce than Australopes with non-adaptive traits. Pause the video, talk to someone near you, jot something down, and I want you to really evaluate if this claim was supported or refuted by the evidence that we just collected. All right, I hope you had time to think about that with someone near you or you texted someone about it. And we can see that our evidence points to this claim being supported, folks. This claim was supported. And why our evidence supports this claim is because just like we saw in that simulation, those Australobe with adaptive traits, those that had the yellow color level of seven, which blended into the yellow seven environment, um, they had more opportunity to reproduce because they survived longer than any of the Australopes with non-adapted traits, such as those with a blue color level of one, four, or yellow color 10. So when an organism has an adaptive trait, they're going to have more opportunity to reproduce because they might uh, blend into the environment more and thus they will have a um, higher likelihood of reproducing and thus ability to change and shift the population so that that adaptive trait becomes more common over time.